How much money do you need to start trading Forex? Today, we're gonna to talk about this big subject. I get this question all the time, and I'm gonna cover it in detail, so stay tuned. Let's get into it right now. Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel and you are starting out as a Forex trader and you're looking to improve, I've got a ton of content here for free. I ask that you subscribe to the channel if it is helpful to you. Let's go ahead and dive into this concept, which is how much money do you actually need to trade Forex? So I get this question pretty commonly about people who are saying, well, Nick, I don't have a ton of money to trade, but I just wanna know, you know, how much do I need to actually get started and, and make a decent amount of money with trading? Well, the first thing you need to know is that if you're a new trader and you're trying to get into this, I would first ask you to not really think about how much money you can make because it might be a little bit discouraging, right? So to me, how much money do you actually need? Well, that's going to come down to what your goals as a trader are. Is your goal purely to try and make a bunch of money or are you going to try and learn first before you deposit more money? I would say that you should definitely lean towards the second half because statistically, most people lose money in their first year and most people actually give up in trading in the first 90 days, right? So I would say that if you wanna dip your feet into this, if you're just getting started, do not worry about trying to make a bunch of money. The first thing we need to focus on is actually just getting started and starting to learn the things that will actually start to make us money in the overall market. So here's the thing. Most traders come into the market thinking that they're going to take a small amount of money and turn it into a very big amount of money very quickly. I would beg you to think otherwise because although that is how it is portrayed in social media, the reality of Forex trading, the people who are actually making money are making slow and steady gains and understand that losses are a part of the process. Okay. None of this get rich quick stuff because that's just not going to happen. But how much money do you actually need for this to make sense? Well, to me, a good starting amount would be around $500, okay? Now, this would be considered a very small trading account. You might say, well, $500 is a lot of money to me. It is to me too. I would say, you know, the $500, that's a decent amount of money. But when it comes to foreign exchange, people are often looking to say, you know, can I deposit $50 and turn that into five grand in a matter of one month? This is may sound like a joke to you if you've been trading for a while. You know that that is a very, very difficult thing to do. But a lot of people who are just getting into the foreign exchange market, they're looking to do this sort of thing. And it's because social media portrays it as that. The reality is this is not a place to get rich quick. This is not a place to turn your $50 into $5,000 quickly. This is a place for you to turn your $500 into a bigger amount of money over time and understanding that there's a process and there's a learning curve to getting involved with foreign exchange. So why do I say $500? $500 is a good starting amount to me. Um, well, you might say, well, how much should I be trading? What kind of lot sizes should I be saying uh, or using on this account? I would say that $500 and 0 0.01 lots, especially if you are a newer trader. Uh, sometimes people will say, well, Nick, I'm not gonna make any money if my account is $500 and I'm only trading a 0 0.01 lot, right? This seems like a baby trade. And here's the thing, I would rather you get comfortable making a slow amount of money over time consistently than taking this $500 and losing it all very quickly because you wanna use big positions. Again, remember that this is one of the most competitive places on earth to try and make money. So if you think you're going to come in with your $500 and turn it into 10 grand really quickly, it's going to be a dangerous and rough ride for you, especially if you don't want to be losing this money. Another thing is, let me ask you as a person, you know, can you afford to lose the money you're depositing? Because again, let's look at the stats. Most people who get involved in the markets, they lose their money. So if they lose their money, you should definitely be open-minded to that statistic and know that whatever you deposit, you should be comfortable in using this as almost like a paid tuition, right? So not only are we using $500, which is not a ton of money to get started with, right? We should be depositing maybe at least $500, let's say $500 to $1,000 and basically think of this as your tuition money, right? Understand that this is money that can be lost if necessary. You don't wanna lose it, obviously, but in the grand scheme of things, most traders start out losing money. And so if you're gonna use starting capital, I would say use your $500 and kind of use this $500 as your tuition balance, if you will. Now, obviously we're not trying to lose this $500, 
but a lot of traders do because they come to the foreign exchange market thinking they're going to get a lot of money very quickly, right? So we want to avoid that by saying, you know what, I'm gonna test this Forex thing out. I'm gonna start learning on a small amount of money so that I don't blow up and lose money that I cannot afford to lose, right? Many, many traders, they'll come to the markets with a $500 account and they'll trade something like 1.00 lots on that account, right? A full standard lot on this account. And then with just a couple trades, Trades, they blow up the account and they lose all the money that they've deposited. I'm trying to kind of give you guys a glimpse into the future for a lot of people who are new to trading. That's what happens. And so if you want to avoid doing that, I would say let's start with a $500 account and let's use small position sizes and let's see if we can start making decent amounts of money. So once we have that $500, right, if you're just getting into Forex, you decide, okay, I can afford to lose $500. I'm going to put this in the market. I'm going to use this as my learning account, right? Well, what can we do next? If you have your $500, we're going to trade 0.01 lots, right? And we're going to use this as a way to learn. Remember, you can always increase your lot sizes later, but I would say the first thing you want to do is learn to get consistent on a small account with low risk so that you don't lose money that you can't afford to lose, right? So we would try and want to do something like, you know, if we have $500, right? If we could just turn that $500 into something like 550 after one year, you would have done better than 99% of traders in their first year, right? You might say, well, that's not a lot of money, making just $50 on my $500 account. But again, don't dock it until you try it because it is very difficult to make consistent money in the currency exchange market. So if you could make $50, what is that? That's 10% in your first year of trading. Most traders lose half or more of the money they deposit. So if you make 10%, you're doing really, really well. And next year, maybe you go something like you make $100. So let's ne next year you make something like, um, you know, at the end of this year, you have 550. On the second year, if you start to see that consistency, you feel a little bit more confident. Next, you go for, let's say you make $100 and that would take you up to 650. Well, now you're starting to make decent money and you're growing that account at a slightly faster rate, right? That might be a practical step. Again, most traders are just going to take this money and they're just going to burn it to nothing really, really quickly because they're trying to get rich quick, like all the social media hype, the people with their fancy cars showing you how easy it is to make money in Forex. It's really not the case. And if you want to trade Forex successfully, you will build the tolerance and the patience to do stuff like this, right? Slow and steady gains over time, learning to first of all, protect your capital and then to grow it rather than the other way around. Most people come to Forex thinking, I just wanna grow my capital, but they do nothing to protect it. And then that's why they lose their money very, very quickly. Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about position sizing, we've talked about how much money you should get started with, I wanted to share a little bit of my own kind of strategy, at least one of my accounts. This is one of my accounts that I run. Um, some of it I keep private, obviously, because this is the internet after all. But this is one of the sample accounts that I share here on myfxbook.com. You can see the account is nearing about $10,000, and the account actually started at right around $94.68. So it's grown pretty nicely. Um, now, this account has been active for, let's see, just about four months here, about, about three and a half months as I started late September. Um, so what you can see is that in that time, I actually grew the account uh, just about, what is that, about 5.33%. Now that may not sound like a ton, but you can see that it actually, actually if we zoom in a bit here, we might be able to see this even better. Um, you can see that the actual amount gained on the account right here is right around five $505, which is a decent amount of money. Well, you might say, well, Nick, you've got almost $10,000 in that account. That doesn't seem like a lot. But this is, again, the difference between what is portrayed in social media compared to what I find to be consistently profitable results. You can see we are seeing a nice steady growth on the account. Um, and you can see that, again, $505, that's a decent amount of money on this account, uh, a relatively good gain of 5.3% in just about three and a half months is good to me. Now, it might not be good to you, but this is just results that I wanted to 
share with you guys. This is an account that's using very, very low risk, right? So I'm trying to keep this account very, very slow and steady, trying not to risk much of the account, trying not to go anywhere near blowing the account, right? And again, this is kind of the inverse of what a lot of new traders do is they say, well, I'm going to try and make 5% per day. And they end up doing something like this, right? They lose almost all of their capital after just a few trades. Things might go well for a week, maybe even for a month. But if you keep trading with that high risk level, it only takes one scenario with bad trades or a string of losses to really, really damage or even blow up the account entirely. So this is kind of just going into example of what we talked about so far here about how much money do you need to start? Well, this is making 5.3%. So if we had this on a $500 account, we could pull up an account, uh, or if we had a $500 account, whoops, if we had a $500 account and we made times 5.3%, uh, we could do a quick calculation. And that would be a gain of, let's see if I pull up my calculator, right? So if we had a $500 account, we did 0 0.0533, right? So 5.33%, whoops, I messed it up, 0, 0.5. Three, three, right? This would be a gain of about $26, $27. Uh, and if that's not exciting to you or that's not fast money, then maybe you should try looking somewhere else. But my idea here is that this would be a great little return on a $500 account, especially when you can take that money, reinvest it in that $500 and continue to grow and compound the account. That's the magic or the secret or the power of Forex is being able to compound your growth over time as you tack on extra income or extra money into the account through your trading, right? So that's kind of an example of uh, my actual account. So I'm, I'm trying to practice what I preach here about using those small positions, using that low risk kind of settings and slowly compounding your account and building it over time. Guys, I hope this helped. $500 to me is a pretty good starting point. Um, I would also recommend that you try trading on a demo to at least get familiar with trading depending on how new you are. I've got an entire free playlist for beginners if you are brand new to Forex and you're looking to learn. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the playlist section where there's a couple free courses to help you out. Guys, thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day.